Okay, in this video, uh, we are going to find the accelerations of the system and the tension in the cord. So, this is the, the diagrams, uh, okay, as you see, this is an inclined plane and here is a pulley, frictionless pulley, uh, the surface of the inclined plane also, uh, frictionless. So, uh, our target is finding the accelerations of this block and the tension in this cord and in this cord. By the way, both tension in this cord and in this cord are the same that means both have equal magnitude so before we are going to find the answers for the acceleration and the tension we should find the free body diagrams of m1 and the other spherical body uh, this one so uh, the direction is look this is 8 kilogram and this is 3 kilogram object okay this is a 3 kilogram object and this is 8 kilogram object so the moment is like this look this moves in the upward direction and this object moves in this direction okay because it is a larger mass and this is a smaller mass so the, the motion is toward the larger mass okay from here like this from here like this so the moment is from here going to in this direction so the component forces that are required to find the acceleration of the block and the tension looks like here, three body diagram, okay? Three body diagram, three body diagram of each masses. First, we find the three body diagrams of the eight kilogram mass, okay? Three body diagrams of the eight kilogram mass. This is the eight kilogram mass. Along this direction, as you see, along this direction, there is a tension force T, okay? There is a tension force T and and along this direction there is what there is the horizontal components of the weight mg sine theta mg sine theta okay sine theta that means mg sorry mg sine because it is 30 degrees so sine 30 degree along this direction so from this we can put this mg sine theta force in this direction on this free body diagram so this is mg sine 30 degree okay this is the free body diagrams of the 8 kilogram mass and the free body diagrams of this spherical object is look this is the spherical object uh, this is 3 kilogram object 3 kilogram object from this diagram from this diagram when this, this spherical object is uh, hang like this there is a downward force okay a downward force that is the weight of the object mg so uh, in the downward direction there is the weight mg mg sorry this is mg downward component by the way this is the free body diagram and there is the upward component the tension force t important point the most important point in such a kind of question is look this tension and this tension are the same one and the other is the acceleration this object is moving is the same as the acceleration of this object moving so this object and this object are have the same or constant acceleration both have the same acceleration simply so now we are going to find how to find the accelerations of the probe before we are going to find the acceleration and the tension, we should find the tension force of this 8 kilogram object. Sorry, sorry. The net force of this system and the net force of this system. Okay, let's begin. The net force of this 8 kilogram object is look. The moment is in this direction, in, the, in this direction. So, in this direction, there is m sine theta. So, m sine theta for this uh, free body diagram, m g sine theta, m sine theta minus, okay, tension force is equal to ma let let me say this m prime mass times acceleration okay this is the net force for this mass and the net force for this uh, mass is look since the, the moment is in the upward direction look the moment is in this direction so look there is a moment in this direction this object moves in the upward direction okay so the net force should be tension minus okay tension minus the mg sorry m prime g is equal to m prime 
a because both have the same acceleration a and the tension force are also the same from this relation we can find the acceleration of the system and the tension force of the system okay so uh, now let's combine both equations this equation and this equation so m sin theta m sin theta mg sin theta mg sin theta minus tension force is equal to ma and this equation minus mg minus m prime g plus t is equal to mass times acceleration sorry mass prime times acceleration okay m prime is the mass of this spherical object that's three kilogram so now by using system of linear equations uh, we are going to add both equations okay vertically so when we add this equation mg sin theta mg sin theta sorry m sin theta minus okay minus m prime g okay t minus t plus t okay zero because they are opp opposites so this equals to m a plus m prime a okay so uh, mg okay mg m sin theta minus m prime g is equal to m a plus m prime a okay so from this relation we can uh, uh, resolve about acceleration that means m g sin theta minus m prime g is equal to m plus m prime the whole a so divide both sides m and m prime m and m prime so acceleration is equal to okay m g sin theta minus m prime g over m plus m prime this is the equation of the acceleration of the system so now we simply substitute the values of these variables so acceleration is equal to m is the mass of the block 8 kilogram okay times gravity 10 meter per second square times sine of 30 degree the angle is 30 degree okay sine of 30 degrees 1 over 2 1 over 2 minus m prime m prime is the mass of the spherical object 3 kilogram okay 3 kilogram multiplied by the gravitational acceleration 10 meter per second square over the sum of the masses 8 kilogram plus 3 kilogram okay well so from this from this relation so from this relation uh, when we, when we finalize or calculate using your calculators you can find this final answer so the final answer is uh, 10 over 10 over 11 meter per second square this is the acceleration of the blocks in the spherical masses this is the answer for question a and the answer for question b is the tension force okay the tension force so in order to find the tension forces we can find we can use either of the equations that means either this equation or this equation so let's use this uh, equation that means from the free body diagrams of the spherical object t minus tension minus m prime g is equal to m prime a so from this relation we we, we can okay so this uh, this is okay m prime plus mg m prime into a plus g three kilogram into then the final answer for the tension force is equal to you can find your uh, so the tension force becomes 32.9 30 point sorry sorry 32.7 something 7 newton okay these are final answers thank you bye